I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. A former Morningside University alumni relations director has been sentenced to more than seven years in prison in Virginia on child pornography charges. According to the Sioux City Journal, 49-year-old Sharon Nathaniel of Sioux City pleaded guilty earlier this week in Stafford County Circuit Court in Stafford, Virginia. National Democrats are poised to upend decades of political precedent this week as they gather in Washington, D.C. to vote on a new presidential nominating calendar, one that is expected to finally bump Iowa from its first-in-the-nation status. Members of the Democratic National Committee's Rules and Bylaws Committee are exploring scenarios that could move New Hampshire or Nevada into the leadoff spot, bringing a new state such as Michigan or Minnesota into the early voting window. Though the outcome is far from certain, few expect Iowa Iowa, which has kicked off the presidential nominating process since 1972 to hold its coveted position after a disastrous 2020 caucus in which the party was unable to report results for several days amid a tangle of technology and organizational failures. COVID-19 hospitalizations in Iowa and reported positive tests are up this week. The Federal Department of Health and Human Services reports as of today, 233 Iowans hospitalized have tested positive for the virus up from 172 last week.